Hi, this is Matt with Learn About Law. Today we're going to talk about the world of uh, Illinois child custody laws in 2024. Whether you're navigating a divorce, adjusting to life as co-parents, or just curious about the changes, you're in the right place. We're here to break down the updates and give you the insights you need to move forward with confidence. So let's get started. First off, the big news, Illinois has officially said goodbye to the term custody. Instead, we are talking about parenting time and parenting responsibility. Parenting time is about how much quality time each parent spends with their children, while parenting responsibility covers the big decisions in your child's life. Think health care, education, and extracurricular activities. Now you might be wondering how these decisions are made. It's all about what's best for the kids. Despite what some might think, there's no automatic assumption that one parent, like the mom, gets full control. Instead, the court weighs a bunch of factors to figure out the best scenario for the child's well-being and development. When it comes to decision-making versus parenting time, it's a team effort in joint custody situations. Both parents have a say in the big decisions, but they also need to be ready to communicate and cooperate effectively. If a disagreement does arise, both parents can provide input, but they might need the court's help to reach a decision that's in the child's best interest. Physical placement, or where your child lives, is another crucial part of the puzzle. The court aims to create a living arrangement that benefits the child, factoring in everything from each parent's health to the child's adjustment to their community and school. Now, before I continue, If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below, and we'll do our best to answer. If you appreciate helpful legal videos like these, give us a like and check out the description for more information on how to contact us. For those facing a tough custody battle, the court might appoint a guardian ad litem. This person's job is to look out for your child's best interests and can be a game changer in how custody and parenting time are decided. So what if joint custody isn't working out because one parent is not cooperating? Illinois courts prefer not to grant sole custody unless it's absolutely necessary for the child's safety and well-being. But in cases of abuse or neglect, the court might limit or supervise parenting time to protect the child. For unmarried parents, the mother usually has sole parenting time and decision-making power until paternity is established or the court steps in. But remember, the goal is always to do what is best for the child, encouraging both parents to work together whenever possible. Disagreements are tough, but the court will always aim to award more parenting time to the parent who's willing to support the child's relationship with the other parent. It's all about cooperation, communication, and putting your child's needs above everyone else's. So there it is, a rundown of Illinois child custody laws for 2024. Remember, navigating custody issues can be very complex, but staying informed and focusing on your child's best interests can make all the difference. If you have any questions or need any guidance, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out the article linked below, and be sure to leave any questions you have in the comment section. Subscribe for more legal news daily.